welcome back to another speed build. My name's Jess, and today I'm building in, well, Brindleton Bay, but this build is meant for Mount Komorabi, and you'll see that in the final shots, um, it all covered with snow. It's super beautiful, but today's build is on a 30 by 20 lot, and it is a small family cabin, so definitely done in a more Scandinavian minimal style, and you'll see that kind of carried throughout the build. But, of course, I had to make this look mountainous since it's going in Mount Komorabi. And so I added a ton of rocks and definitely had to spend quite a bit of time using the tool mod to adjust all the different heights. Definitely love the tool mod for that. Um, it works so nice to just make a landscape feel like it sets into the world versus just having those kind of weird chunks of just brown dirt or the different colors that are in all the worlds so anyways i love being able to do that i think this looks so nice i'm so happy with how it turned out and you can see i'm adding in some landscaping and i just wanted to add some greenery um even though my intention is for this to be in mount komorabi because you might not use it in your game in mount komorabi so i wanted it to look really nice um, without being covered in snow as well as being covered in snow. And I also think it adds some realism to have some kind of dead plants <laughs> um, in the um, in Mount Komorabi. And you can see I had to use the tool mod for quite a bit of the landscaping as well. Um, but now we're moving on to the interior. And actually one of the things I wanted to mention was I have been doing these kind of snowy mountainous builds in part because like of course winter is coming up and for me the holiday season has started but it's actually been snowing where I live which is pretty unusual for my area. I live in the Pacific Northwest in Washington and we don't always get snow um, this time of year. Sometimes we do. Um, but it's been pretty cool and definitely very inspiring to see it and it just makes me want to build these beautiful kind of snowy escapes, you know? <laughs> um, but anyways, you can see I'm of course cluttering up the shelves in the kitchen because I really wanted to use the island living cabinet, um, but it doesn't really have like a piece that looks super built in. So I thought if I used some of the immaculate shelves and just sized them up with a tool mod to kind of match, it might look a little bit more built in. And I think it did. I think it look, ended up looking really nice. And I was able to use that cabinet, which I never use um, from Island Living. So yeah, I think it ended up looking really cool. And it's always fun to use items that I don't normally use. And of course, I'm using the journal from, I believe it's Parenthood, to create a custom book stack. If you've ever seen a video of mine before, this isn't new to you, but I just do that using the tool mod, and it's a lot of just copy and pasting, but I did try to put in um, the majority of the process, so if you are interested in giving it a try, hopefully you can follow along to that little section. Um, and one actual first for me in my YouTube channel is I actually added in a smoke detector. I've never remembered to do it before, um, but I realized with the backing it maybe would catch on fire with the kind of like timber slats um, behind the kitchen. Um, so I actually remembered. So we'll see if that carries through. Maybe that's going to be my new um, next year goal is to try and remember a smoke detector in every build, but we'll see. Anyways, so I wanted to add in a little entryway area that kind of looked like a mud room or where you would kind of kick off your snowshoes and make sure you don't track snow into the house. And I really like how this little room turned out. I think it's really cute. And there's just enough room in the stairs to add some, um, a little deck decor item. Um, and so I added in that canvas stack and I think it looked really cute. And in the parents' room, I really just wanted to make it really comfortable, but keep it minimal, not too cluttered. And I, of course, used some items from the new Everyday Clutter Kit. Um, oh my gosh, I just love it. It really makes a house feel like a home and adds in just that perfect little touch of detail. Um, but we're moving on to the bathroom. So the bathroom I kept pretty simple. 
and just wanted to make it look like it was used, but again, keeping things nice and minimal. And now we're moving on to the kids' room, which there's not a lot of space, but I tried to add in what I could, namely a desk with a computer because you kind of need a computer in The Sims. But that actually means we're coming to the end of the build. So I want to thank you so, so much for watching. Your support means the absolute world to me. Um, I hope you have a great day. Bye.